Action, a little more energy, please. Thank you. <clears throat> I will do a little intro. I was gonna say going places. <clears throat> I don't remember how we do these. <laughs> no, here we go, action. Hey guys, today on It's Alive, we're gonna be doing a little fermented citrus, a little lacto-fermented citrus. It's kind of a riff on like a preserved lemon, preserved citrus kind of thing, packed in salt where it gets kind of, you know, we're gonna be fooling around with a few different types, real simple process, a little bit of salt, vacuum bag, room temperature, controlled rot. Let's get going. Oh, that's disgusting. I'll give that a little rinsey poo. You know, you gotta take care of your tools, man. I don't care what it is, you know? If it's a pencil, or, <clears throat> or a vacuum sealer, or a printing press, you gotta take care of your tools, man. Talk to myself a lot. <laughs> All right, oh, before we get, before we get going, I got a little bone to pick. Uh, Emil Stanek, that kooky guy. He, uh, we had, he was all fired up about this um, fermentation experiment, and he, it, it was cool. I was into it too. I was like, yeah, I like this. But he did it, and he put it in this jar, and we, we popped it over in the fermentation station, and boy, oh boy, he forgot about it. Uh, I went over there today. I was like, well, I, I forgot about it. It's been, I mean, weeks, if not maybe a month or two. Yeah, I looked in there, man, and it went rogue. It's gone, it's gone bio warfare on us. I'm not gonna clean it, but I wanted to, I wanted to call him out. It's alive. I ain't opening it. No, this is sealed unit, bud. Uh, you trust me, no one wants it. You go in there, man, I might get spores in the face. Look, I left a little peep view. That ain't supposed to be there. This ain't, it's not like some weird SCOBY. Just because it's a controlled rot doesn't mean you need to neglect it. Oh, ooh, a little bit came out there. It was disgusting. We're gonna do some kumquats. And this is all by weight. If you, gotta get, if you don't have yourself a little digital scale, it's a fantastic tool to invest in. Um, and I like to do things by grams, you know, real precise. It's just the way it should be, you know? I, don't even get me started. What, what's that, 230? 240? 248? All right, we'll call that, oh, I'll take a small one out and put a big one in. 250. Remember that. I thought you were leaving, Gabby. All right, come quats. First move. Oh, you like that, right? That's the new. That's the new big boy. You're that badass, huh? Yeah, the big boy. It's the upgraded version of the original. I still got that one. I'll never let go of that knife. I love that knife. But here's a little more, a little high performance model. You know, zing zang, baby. <laughs> Nice kumquats. And I'm gonna have them, and then we're gonna take, uh, then we're gonna take the seeds out. This is just like a fancy uh, chopstick, like a plating chopstick. It's actually Morocco's, I borrowed it without asking. Chris, you mind if I use your little chopstick? <laughs> yeah, so I just use that, you poke in there, and you try to you know, hit out it. The little obvious ones, boom, see ya. Pew! Kind of a silly name, but oh, kumquat, who thought of that? Oh, you know, that looks like a kumquat. <laughs> what the f***? It's getting a little warm in here. Well, Anna Stockwell showed up to work today. I don't know where the hell everyone else is. Gabby, you came in late. You're leaving early. Yeah. yeah. Living the life, man. That test kitchen manager life. Yeah, well, Gabby got in here. You know, she, no, she did a great job. She got rid of a lot of stuff that I've, I've been hoarding for years. And, but she reorganized a lot of things, and I don't know where the hell uh, like anything is anymore. I say how you made it, you hid everything. Like, oh, the juicers, the citrus juicers were here. No, we got, let's put. What, um, nah. All right, yeah, so the blood orange. The blood orange, I nip off the tops. Look at that bad boy. It's a beaut. Let's get a weight on that bad boy. 146, let's just, let's just say 150, what the hell. And I like to do things by grams, you know, real precise. And then we just do a little slicey slice. A little ringy ring. I've never done the blood orange one before. We're going to learn together if this one's... Oh, Brad, what are you doing? Oh, no, you got it. If this will work out. We'll see how it reacts, you know. This might kind of fall apart and get weird just because of how much, like, segment there is, how much water content juice is in there. And then maybe... But that's cool. We can use the liquid, too. Let's get away. Should we do... Yeah, let's do limes. 220. 
on the lime. And let's do, you know, what the hell? We'll do, we'll do a little, my, we'll do three Meyer lemons too. I like Meyer lemons, you know, they're beautiful, A. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous. But uh, a lot of some people think, and I get it, they can kind of get that like medicinally cleaner product aroma, if you would. Morocco, you might, you like Meyer lemons? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, right? What's the problem, right? Yeah. yeah. They're out there. Probably Rappo. I can't see Rappo liking a Meyer lemon. Ooh, 300 on the dot. The reason we wrote down our weights is because we're gonna add 2% salt by weight. So say this is 250 grams. That's probably a, a easy, non, uh, easy, easy number. 250 times 0 0.02, five grams salt. All right, flying right through this. 150 times 0 0.02. That's like one of the only things I remember from math class in school is how to find percentages of numbers. It's great. Oh, 150 times 0 0.02, three grams. Boom. All right, we're flying. Two, two. I feel like I'm flying through a test. You know, like when you, you got, you probably, a lot of you probably feel, feel, feel or felt this way often, but, but, but I didn't. When you were taking a test and you like knew the, you knew the answer. She's like, yeah, that's just A. Yeah, it's a B. I'm a hundred percent sure. And you like feel good. You're all pepped up, not depressed after you take a test. It wasn't often. They're back. Woo! Woo! Nah, what do you mean slow clap? Like an 80s slow clap. You know? Oh, are we uh, beat Nick's now? And then it like picks up, like you can't find me love. Let's get the rice so we can play the rice. <laughs> Come on. You know what All two of us. No, you don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a I was born in 85, sir. I was born in 80. You guys don't know. No big deal. I was in eighth grade when you were a senior. Oh. Boom. All right, the kids ain't here. So clap my ass. All right, here we go. <laughs> Old man Morocco. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Oh, please do. Okay, kumquats, five grams. Boom, let that hang out. Next trick, three grams. Who nailed it? That was a three gram pinch. That's that, that right there is what you call a three gram pinch. First of all, is this guy's Brian Bosworth? Hold on, I'm gonna show you. It's a, that, Jesus that Christ. Like, it's not even in color. Important. Is that Brian Bosworth? I don't know who Brian Bosworth is. Stone? I'm Stone? very disappointed. No, no, no. He's about to get into a fight. He this looks Kirby's. like a good movie. He's inspirational speech. Is that John Travolta? Hands him, hands him back the friggin' baseball bat, okay? And then watch. We're trying to make our own movie here. Oh. <laughs> Slow clap, right there. Let's That's go. The Let's moment. get it going, That's guys. Get Appreciation. Get I see going. what you're saying. There, slow clap. <laughs> I got it. The slow clap. Let's get it going. And then it speeds up. Everyone's going. But Chris, no one's here. Only we showed up for work today, bud. And Anna Stockwell. And and Matt. No, we can't. We can't address you. It's, it's too soon. Okay. We're gonna add this to this. Okay. <gasps> oh no. Did we ever weigh this? Did I do that already? I'm losing my mind. Did I salt that twice now? No, right? Okay. Oh, it was 300 on a dot. Remember, that's the one I nailed. 300 for the, for the Myers. So 300, huh? What's 2% two, what's two of 300? Slick. Six? 0 0.02. Six! Did you know that? <laughs> Me neither. All right, let's see if we can get a six gram pinch. That feels good. Here, oh, oh. Let's, let's try that again. One more time. How to calibrate my pinch. Six gram pinch coming right up. Four. And now we do a little tossy toss. Check out the brains on Brad. What's that? What movie is that from? Slick? Oh. Perfect. Now we can get ready to ferment. I'm gonna do, I love cardamom. Big, big fan. I got these pods right here. I'm gonna crush one, boom. And we'll add that to the Meyer lemon. 
We'll add that to the kumquat. Get this out of here. Put on Andy's station. He's on vacation. He's on his 12th vacation this year. It's April. Must be nice, huh? Oh, we were in Hawaii. I'm glad you asked. Shooting some just fantastic stories. Should be by the time this one comes out. Hopefully, I think it'll be out already. So I got this nice here little vacuum sealer. I like to do a double seal on the ends here. This takes a little time, but it's not bad. Because I don't just trust one. You know, we got too much on the line here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bag, vacuum seal it lightly. Not crazy to crush it, but suck the air out. And as it ferments, as fermentation does, it's consuming. Little microorganisms are consuming and they're giving off, they're giving off carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah. Carbon monoxide, that's the one that kills you, I think, right? They both can kill you. Either way, they're giving off gases and it'll start to puff up the bag. Oh, hey, Rappa. Hey, Brad. Do you like Meyer lemons? <laughs> I knew it. Everyone was like, who doesn't like Meyer lemons? I go, I bet you Rappo doesn't. Ninety-six. Half of viewers are weren't even born yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's 2019. Oh, shit. 2019 minus 19. Oh, 23. Yeah, I bet you. 96. Jesus Christ. You're born in 92. You got a license to operate that camera. Now it's simple. We just put our product in the bag. Oh, you gotta watch me do this. Yeah, it's called the show, Brad. It's what was literally what we're doing. Okay, here we go. Here's nothing. Boom. Up at the top here, I'll go for another double seal. We got all this way. We're gonna build up some pressure. I don't, I don't need things popping on me, you know, blowing a gasket. Boom. Air, air brake shot. The boom. Right in the post office. <laughs> Love the trailer park boys. We gotta get the trailer boys. I know Maddie's got them. He's worked with them. He's Canadian, though. He's got that on me. He got that on me, Matty. Okay, let's do the blood oranges. These will lay out nice and delicate because I think they're going to want to really let that, that liquid out. Excited to see how these bad boys come out. Bad boy. Well, being big doesn't necessarily make you bad. That's the difference. And bad boy is just bad. It's nasty. Like a junkyard dog. Bad boy. Here we go. Okay, uh, vacuum seal. Oh. And if you wanted to fool around, but if you wanted to like put some crushed, you know, seedless red pepper flake in there, that'd probably be awesome. Or like a cinnamon stick, you know what I mean? Like fool around, have some fun with it. This is just an inspirational piece. Every time, one of them. It's always one, you know what I mean? It's always one, man. Oh, Delaney. Oh, Leon. You can't use my... Back in the saddle, You're the man. villain. All right, you're the... Delaney. No, you're my villain, though. Okay, how is that? Right. We're both... What's that called? Uh, how about we just be... Can we just be guns? buds? Okay, yeah, cool. Be buds. We squashed it? Squash the beef, right? Oh, I'm just going to lay these out in the fermentation station on a sheet tray. If you wanted to speed this up, you could lay it out on a sheet tray with like one of those seeding heat mats under it. The ones that you could like, you know, sprout seeds from or like folks put them in their like lizard, their lizard tanks where they keep their pet lizard or whatever. Lizards don't like you. They, they just wish they were big enough to eat you. Anyway, no, we'll come back and uh, I'll let you know when they come back. Kill the music, kill the fun. Get over here. Oh, no, not you. I was yelling at Hunzi, dear boy. Okay. <clears throat> so we left off. Should I put these back in the tray? All right, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Call your mother. Oh, darling, call your mother. Call your mother. Look at that, bud, huh? There's your little airplane pillow. So you fly to someone's wedding. Oh, you got a gift for him. It'll be your travel. 
Although they probably will definitely not let you on. This is not getting through TSA. But for fermentation station, it's, it's what we call a success. We've got our kumquats that kind of look like sun gold tomatoes. Our, our second leader up here with gas give off is the Meyer lemons. And then we also did the blood oranges, which fermented a little less, but still pretty cool none, nonetheless. And then lastly, and certainly they weren't the sexiest lime to begin with, but these just didn't really do much. They kind of got like an ugly color, might be a fail. But you fail moving, you fail forward or whatever the saying is, you know, you learn from things. So let's, let's cut these bags open and taste uh, our, our fermented citrus. And then I'm gonna take some squid. I'm gonna, uh, just a little salt, pepper, olive oil, grill it up real nice, crispy. And then we'll slice that cold and make a little fermented kumquat herb squid salad. I'm just gonna give a little relief pop, okay? Oh, it smells fantastic. Oh, smell, I mean, A, smells like citrus, like punch in the nose, but it has a little mild hint of like, a little mild hint of alcohol to it as well. And the texture loses that like bumpy kind of skin that kumquats or citrus tend to have. And it looks smooth. It really does look like, like a gold grape tomato. Oh, that's going to be so good on fish, on squid. I wouldn't even mind putting a little slice of that on a raw oyster. Woo! All right. Ooh, that minced up in a little yogurt with some lamb. Woo! Onto the blood orange. I mean, bl blood oranges, they're, wow, they're pretty though. Now the blood oranges are a little weird. Not quite sure what to do with them yet. But the segment, look at that fruit. I mean, it, it kept some of those, those little juice sacks. I mean, it's all right. I'm not as fired up about it. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'll put it in a jar. We'll figure out something to do with it. And then lastly, the ugly ducklings, the old limes here. I think the, the, the thing with the limes is getting really, or anything that you're doing, is getting really ripe ones. Those were not. Like I said, I'll pack them, I'll pack them all in the jars, but, the, but these two by far were just home runs. And those were the ones that fermented the most by gas give off in the bag. So a little interesting there. Yeah, so to finish this off, I'm going to take one and a half of these kumquats and just mince it up. I mean, if you could do this in a mortar and pestle, I really just want to make a paste. Now he's got a little shallot. Just gonna add a little extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, a decent amount, that's nice, like that. Ooh, good catch, you catch that? Oh, we'll do a little black pepper. Oh, look how good that looks already, huh? Oh, what do you wanna put that over, squid? Well, you're in luck. It's cooking right here, folks. That's how I like cooking, you know? You get inspired by what you're doing. A little pinch of salty salt. A lot of recipes, every now and then, you know, but not too often, you know. I can't write. No, <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. I can. It's script too, or cursive. They don't do that no more, do they? All right, I'm not fooling around. I'm gonna slice up this squid. Love squid. Oh, so tender, hot and fast on the grill. Boom, boom, boom. One of the most sustainable creatures in the ocean. Cold, hot, fried. I'm like Bubba Gump, but with squid. Ooh, the name of my, my squidden boat? Yeah. I don't know, I'd have to really put some thought into that. I can't just throw, I can't just throw that one out there without, without thinking about it. I gotta put some thought into it. It's springtime here in New York. I'm gonna try to do a little squid fishing. I'd love to make an episode out of it, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to in time. We go at night, the lights, the, 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 lighting up the sea, and you jig them, they come beep, 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 darting up, and then you catch some nice ones. Jigging. Jigging. It's like the little bait where you just, you know, little chicken. All right, we'll add that to our little vinaigrette. And now we'll add some herbs. We're just going to tear it with my, with, my little, with my little fingers here. And this is just fresh parsley, uh, cilantro, and mint. But you can use any herb you want. If you got tarragon, you can use that. I like tarragon. And then we'll do just a little tossy toss. Oh, that smells good. Go ahead and take a look at that. A little more, a little more salt, a little more pepper. Oh, a meal. Hey, hey you hungry, bud? Actually, I'm not. Oh. If you want me to taste yeah, you want to try something out? Well, let me just put it in a little bowl for you. Oh, wow. You're like plating it up. This looks nice. I mean, you know, the way you serve food is just a 
a representation of how you feel and care about the people that you're feeding. So I wanted to play it at nice okay. for you because I, I care about you, Emil. Oh, Brad. So sweet. Yamo or what? That's good food. Good you eating? You did a good job. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Like preserved lemon for me is sometimes hard. It kind of tastes like floor cleaner. Right. You Cleaning know? product. Yep. But this is like much more. It's lighter and more aromatic. I would, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm very happy with it. Right? You put you that in your be, magazine. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, thanks, You're bud. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I almost stabbed myself in the eye. Oh, All right, that was great. Oh, you want to try it by itself? A little dabble, do you? And then you just pack them in a jar. And smell that. I mean, come on. That's wild. Right? How good is squid, right? It's so good. I was telling, I was telling this guy. The only thing we should be eating. That's what I'm saying. One of the most sustainable fish in the ocean, right? Fish? No, it's not a fish. I just don't know how to pronounce what they are called. Cephalopods? You, that sounds right. That does sound right. Yeah. Um, right. Cephalopods, you said? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Like octopus and cuttlefish. Yeah, all the seppies. And, uh, easy to catch. And I feel like uh, easy to catch, jig them at night. Yep. And um, I feel like a lot of people don't like jig it. Jig them at night. Jig them at the night. Bradley Oney story. Ooh, that'd be the name of my boat. That's good. Jig them at night. Jig them at night. I like that. All right, Emil, thanks, right, bud. thank you. Yeah, thanks for swinging by. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. Hey, Gabby or Molly or anyone, you guys want to try something really delicious? That involves controlled rot. Molly, I know you do. Controlled rot? Controlled rot, a.k.a. fermentation, a.k.a. flavor. I'm really selling it with the rot. It yeah. looks nice. It's like something Andy would make. Why? Because there's herbs in it? Wait. The squid is what's rotting? Yeah. The kumquats. Oh. So it's a vinaigrette <laughs> with um, fermented kumquat. Mm. Grilled squid, cold. Mm. Flesh. I want it even colder. Oh, wow. You know I mean? Like ice cold. Like, like cocktail cold. I can get into that. It's really good, Brad. Yeah. You want to try one by itself? That's all I got. You don't Are need more. Really yeah, I mean, you don't need. Yeah, you can have more if you like. Oh, wow. It's it good. like I want to make a vinaigrette out of this every exactly. day. Exactly. Or like even like, like a mignette for an oyster or something. Mignonette. That's what I said. He said mignette. Do I judge you, Molly? All right, I, I cooked, like, yeah. I made you a snack. I feel like you're always judging me. That is not true at all. You can't just say it because it's fun. I'm just correcting you. It's true. I can't pronounce things. It's fine. Are we just very chicken? I just... <sighs> Bye, Molly. Bye. Gabriella. What? I made you a snack. Wait, I have to go and make my own salad? Here, here's a clean oh, fork. What? Are we paid $25 for the plate, I guess? 25. Oh, 20. All right, all right. Great. I'm super happy with this. Such a balance. This is one of this is a really nice dish. I would I'm going to make this again and uh, man, I think it's just a really easy way to make uh, a next level kind of vinaigrette or sauce or mignonette or whatever she mignette as I like to say. That'd be awesome with shrimp too. Or you know it'd be really good too that little mixed up mash mixed into like a ceviche. <sighs> Ooh, meow. Next time, I love seafood. I love fermenting things. And remember, have fun doing it, okay, folks? Bon appetit. We can have some, too. It's quite nice. So happy. It is a little salty. That was my fault. I f***ed up. Let me get you a fork. Whoa. I'm going to keep that one. You know, being in front of the camera is just really kind of ther therapy for me. Get a lot of talking done, a lot of thinking out. A lot of thinking out, isn't that talking? <laughs> Get a lot of thinking out. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to use that from now on instead of talking. You know what Gabby's really good at? Getting a lot of thinking out. <laughs>